idea that we couldn't pay our employees or something like that would be devastating to me. It would just be horrible. We're responsible for their livelihood. We're feeding their families. The, the fear I feel running a business through this is one thing, right? Like my livelihood could all go away if, if this turned really dramatic. For our town where 400 of the people work for us, right? If we went away, it's a whole town that's sort of wandering, looking for something else to do. We don't know what's gonna happen. And so we don't exactly know how to prepare or um, what to be scared of. I keep waiting for that day when they say, oh, we have no more new cases, you know? And it's like, I haven't seen that yet. My name is Jenny Doan, and I'm a quilter, and I'm a mother, and I'm a grandmother. 2008 was when all the markets crashed. We lost our retirement. Hamilton was losing hope, and my husband and I were losing hope. Our kids bought us a quilt machine. Everything that's been made in here has been made by my own hands. We were just a cute little shop, just like everybody else. We started carrying all the fabrics that mom would use in the tutorials. Alan said, well, I think I'm going to buy another one of these buildings and put that fabric in there, because we need more room. So now, we're the world's largest provider of pre-cut quilting fabric. We have the best employees ever. Over 200 people. <laughs> In the beginning, we were just shipping 10 orders a day. Now we ship 5,000 orders a day. Opening a business in Hamilton kind of sparked things. We've got 14 quilt shops in town, three restaurants, a little hotel. It's this whole quilting Disneyland in Hamilton, Missouri. The growth of Missouri Star Quilt Company is the sweetest, most serendipitous thing that's ever happened to us. One of the things that I, I realized early on is when times get tough, people go back to the basics, you know, and sewing is a basic. We've needed all those people in our warehouse to ship because our, our shipping has gone up. We've had to like space people out and create extra break rooms and have them come in in six man shifts. And like, there's a bunch of stuff that we're trying to do to make sure that we're staggering our people and giving them enough space that, that they don't feel at risk. We continue to do a lot of like our video content, our lives and, and video tutorials and things that we've been, we've been doing to sort of keep our relationship with our customers. All of a sudden people have this great excuse to sit inside and, uh, and they still like, they don't want to watch Netflix for two weeks, right? They want to do a thing, they want to make a thing. And so that's, that's really a sweet spot that we get to fill. So the thing that we'd encourage everybody to do is just let this time be associated with some growth, with an outpouring of creativity and, and inspiration. If you create something that wasn't there before, that is healing. And it will make the dark times brighter and it will make the sad hearts lighter because they're able to do something with their own two hands that blesses the life of another person.